Tomorrow is the first day of fall, y'all. So time for my fall video. If you're interested in hearing about the fragrances that I'm excited to wear for this fall, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I know y'all been getting all the fall videos already, but I was like, I'm not ready for summer to be over. I'm not ending it early. So y'all are getting my video today. Hopefully it's not too late, but I'm finally ready, I guess, to switch over to my fall fragrances. Now, typically fall and winter are my time of year when it comes to fragrances. I live in a hot climate. So fall for us in weather is really just like extended summer. But in my mind, <laughs> It's fall, okay? So I wear heavier scents during this time of year, and these are the type of scents that I really, really love. So I always get excited when it's time for fall fragrances. So the fragrances that I'm going to share with you are the ones I'm excited to wear for this fall. And I have 12 fragrances to share with you. I usually go for 10, but I have two bonuses because two of the fragrances are discontinued or not readily available. So I, although these are the fragrances that I'm excited to wear, I still want to share them and provide links for you all and I do appreciate you all shopping using my links because that does help to support my channel, help to support my fragrance habit. So I appreciate those of you all who do use my links and just know they are always in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So this first fragrance is going to be controversial for some of y'all, but it ain't for me. Okay, so this is a Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So the reason I said it's controversial is because I know a lot of people only wear this in the dead of winter, but I love it. So I'm going to wear this as soon as the highs drop below 75 degrees. Seriously. So Tobacco Vanille, like the name says, is a tobacco vanilla fragrance. This is a quite spicy scent. It is a little bit sweet, like the tobacco in this smells sweet. It doesn't smell like an ashtray to me. It smells like a sweet, spicy, fresh uh, tobacco that like you put in a pipe or something. <laughs> I don't know where I get these references for. I've never like smoked a pipe. I have no idea, but that's what I imagine when I smell this fragrance. But overall, I think it's just a very beautiful scent. Slightly sweet, spicy, tobacco, vanilla, goodness. Like, oh, so good, y'all. This is so good. Now, I do actually have this in the body spray as well. And it's hands down the best body spray I own. I don't have it down here with me. It's actually in my bathroom. But... If you are looking to try tobacco vanille and um, it's just out of your price range, maybe go for the body spray because I actually feel like the body spray wears a good long time. It's way less expensive and like you can really smell the fragrance in it. Now, obviously to me, the fragrance actually smell like the perfume actually smells a little bit more pure but the body spray is really freaking good on this one i typically will layer the body spray with the fragrance if i'm going out if i'm just chilling at home and i really want tobacco vanille i'll usually just use the body spray but yeah it's this this is popular for a reason and i don't care if y'all don't think it's cold enough to wear this i'm gonna be wearing this okay so again that is tobacco vanille from tom ford since we're on the Tom Ford train right now, I might as well go ahead and share with you the other Tom Ford fragrance in this video. And this is a Bean Fume. So this is gorgeous. This is a woody scent. The wood in this smells very like fresh, like somebody just chopped a piece of wood in front of you. I believe the type of wood that I'm smelling is ebony. But it also kind of smells like it could have some cedar in this. And although this is a woody scent, there's something a little bit creamy about this too. It does have a bit of a smoky vibe to it as well. But again, it doesn't smell like somebody smoking around you. It just kind of smells like burning wood in my opinion. 
it's really good it's really really good it's quite sophisticated smelling but it's also a little bit cozy in my opinion and it kind of gives off clean vibes when i say clean vibes i don't mean like a cleaning product or like a skin scent or like soap it just has a very clean smell to it that probably doesn't make sense but in my mind it does anyway this is a gorgeous scent. This is one you definitely should try on your skin before you judge it. I know some ladies think this is too masculine. So if you typically go for more feminine leaning fragrances, this may not be for you, but I would say it is perfectly unisex. And so if you like unisex fragrances, I definitely think this is one you should smell. It's unique, it's beautiful, it's easy to wear but it still stands out and it lasts forever. So again, that is a Bean Fume from Tom Ford. So of course, because I just turned the camera on, landscapers are now out doing their thing. So I apologize if you can hear the mowing. Um, I just wanna go ahead and apologize for that in advance, but we are going to push through anyway. So the next fragrance that I have is from Atar Collection and this is Caltech Night. So this bottle is absolutely stunning, right? Looks like Middle Eastern royalty. I love the bottles on these and they feel quite substantial, um, all the ones from this brand. So it feels very luxurious when you spray it on, but it smells luxurious too. So to me, this smells like a cherry tobacco boozy scent. Now, I don't know what notes are in this fragrance, but when I smell it, it smells like a, gourmand leaning cherry tobacco boozy scent almost like there could be some apple in this fragrance as well but ap not apple at the forefront apple in the background just giving it a little bit of that fruity sweetness because it definitely smells like there's some other sort of sweetness in this fragrance besides the cherry and besides the tobacco this is gorgeous y'all it smells kind of edible but not so much that I think it would be offensive to those of you who don't like to wear food type scents. Like it does have a bit of a perfume vibe, but in a very, very good way. Like this smells so good. This smells so good. I cannot wait to wear this. Now, I have to mention because I know this brand is not easy to sample or find. I do think this is similar to some other fragrances. So if you have smelled Angel Share from by Killian, these are not the same. I think Angel Share is sweeter, more gourmand, and heavier, but they're in the same family. Also, if you have smelled Invite Only from Kiali, again, they are not the same. Um, to me, this one is probably a little bit easier to wear than Invite Only. I'm not smelling them side by side right now, but to me, I think this one is a little bit sweeter, a little bit less sharp than invite only so um it's kind of in that same family just to give you guys an idea because like i said i know most people that get these have to blind buy them as i did so i just want to let you guys know in case that's helpful so again that is atar collection caltech night this next fragrance is one of my all-time faves but it really shines in the fall and winter so i am excited to start back wearing it. So this is Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kirk Jean. So, so good. This fragrance is an amber vanilla fragrance. It smells a little bit sweet, a little spicy, but overall it is very well blended. Now this is one you definitely should wear to judge. This is not one you could smell on a paper because I know a lot of women, especially when they smell this, they think it smells masculine. And I can get that because when I'm smelling on the paper, it does smell a little bit masculine. But when you wear this, okay, when you wear this, the way it interacts with my skin, I mean, I can't speak for everybody else's skin. The way it interacts with my skin, it is so enveloping. It's so gorgeous. It is cozy it's also a little sexy it's sophisticated it is everything and although the notes are heavier notes the way that this one wears on my skin i get that cloud of fragrance but it also doesn't smell like so dense and heavy that it would be suffocating so this is definitely florida fall appropriate so like i said with tobacco vanille as soon as temperatures drop below like 75 i'm gonna wear this in the daytime outside y'all it is so so good i always get compliments on this too so it's not overpowering to others and it's not overpowering to me and 
it's everything. So again, that is Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kirkjean. This next fragrance is from Amouage and this is Overture Woman. This is so good, y'all. Now, I'm not going to lie and act like I haven't worn this during the summer because I got it either at the end of spring or at the beginning of summer. So I have worn this out at night and I've worn it actually to work. But it's not one that I feel like is really appropriate for warm weather. This is definitely more suited for fall winter. And as soon as the temperatures drop, I'm going to be wearing this a lot more. It is gorgeous. To me, this is a very boozy slightly fruity, slightly leathery scent. When I smell it here on the card, I really don't smell the leather. And when I've worn this, there's been times where I wore it and didn't really smell the leather. And then there's one time that I wore it and I did smell the leather. However, don't let that scare you. I'm not a fan of leather and fragrances. I think the leather that is in this is really, really well done, well blended, very easy to enjoy. I don't think this is a challenging leather, leather. So don't let leather in this fragrance scare you. Definitely try to spray this on your skin and see how it does on your body chemistry. But to me, this is so sexy. Definitely date night appropriate. <sighs> Definitely better for colder weather. But if you must, you could wear this on a hot summer night because I've done it and it worked. It worked. But I think this is really gonna shine as soon as the temperatures drop a little bit more. And this smells just so warm, so inviting. It's not a loud screaming fragrance, but it's definitely very, very present. But this is one that I think is actually perfect for a date night because it's very, very present. It's very different, but it also is not that type of fragrance that's so loud that somebody can't get next to you. <laughs> nozzle with you you know <laughs> this can still be cuddle time intimate time appropriate I wouldn't spray it on just for that but like say if you spray this on for a date night it's not something that you need to come home and scrub off if you want to get a little bit closer so hopefully y'all feel me so anyway I love this one. So it's Amouage Overture Woman. By the way before we move to the next fragrance I have smell Overture Man and that one is good as well definitely smells more edible than overture woman um so if you haven't smelled that one smell that one as well the next fragrance is from dior Privé, and this is vanilla diorama so this is a citrusy vanilla scent the citrus that is in this fragrance that what well, my nose picks up anyway is orange so it smells like a sweetened citrus not like super sharp lemon or lime more of a sweetened orange vanilla scent. Also smells slightly boozy, a little bit spicy, and a tad bit smoky. Yeah, a tad bit smoky, but it's so good, y'all. Now, I know when this one came out, it kind of got mixed reviews, and people were comparing it to Fev Delicious, also from the same house, but I have to say I own Fev. I love Fev, and I think these are completely different scents, so... I think you can have both. Don't let that deter you from at least trying this one out. If you love vanilla and you love orange, this is so good, y'all. There's something so addictive about this one. And one other thing that I love about this one is that although it is a heavier kind of smelling scent, it's not super dense that you could not wear it during hot weather. When I initially got this, I think it was the end of the summer and I started wearing it immediately. So I really think that this one could be worn year round, but I do prefer it to wear it during the colder weather. And it's just so good. I just can't stop smelling myself when I wear this one. I do have a review video on this from when I first picked it up. So I'll definitely link that for you all. But I cannot wait to start applying this one all over again. So again, that is Vanilla Diorama from Dior Privé. The next fragrance is from The Seven Virtues. And this is Santal Vani. So this is a sandalwood scent. The sandalwood in this smells quite fresh, kind of like pencil shavings. This is not a very creamy sandalwood and it is mixed with a vanilla. But to me, I wouldn't really classify this as a vanilla scent. To me, the vanilla just really helps to soften the edges of the sandalwood. It makes it a little bit more feminine. If you have smelled Santal 33 from the Labo, to me, this is a more feminine version of that one. To me, Santal 33, I do enjoy it. 
but not for me. To me, it smells masculine on my skin. If you're a woman, you wear it like I'm not judging you like a lot of women wear it. But for me, when I sprayed it on my skin, it smelled more masculine. This one is more feminine than that. It's softer than that. I think this is easier to wear than that one. So yeah, I love this one. It's gorgeous and I think it shines really well in colder weather. Although I do think you can wear this during the hot weather as well. So I think this is a great like transition scent, uh, especially if you live in a warmer climate like myself and you want to go for fall vibes. So definitely check out this fragrance. I feel like it's at a really nice price point and it lasts pretty decently on my skin. So again, that is Santal Vani from The Seven Virtues. So on to something that does not have a nice price point. This is Bond Number no. 9 Tribeca. So this fragrance is gorgeous. This is a newer fragrance to me. I've only worn it probably twice. I've had it probably about a month now, and I think I've worn it like two or three times. But I love it, and I think that this is gonna do really well in the fall because this is like a I don't want to say it but I feel like I have to say it <laughs> this is like a gourmand take on Baccarat Rouge 540 <laughs> I know we're sick of things getting compared to Baccarat Rouge but I feel like personally Baccarat Rouge is hard for me to describe the way it smells but if you smelled it you know what it smells like so this to me is also hard to describe and so I feel like I kind of need to say that it smells like Baccarat Rouge but more gourmand so in addition to the baccarat rouge smell i also smell something nutty and sweet so maybe hazelnut or chestnut maybe one of those kind of nuts and it almost kind of smells like there's some sort of praline or caramel in this fragrance as well it is really 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 good so it is, it does have that airy quality it does have that sweetness to it and i love this one even though i am not doing a great job of describing it i love the way it smells and I can't wait to see how it does when the weather cools down a little bit. Uh, the days that I have worn this, it's been extremely hot and it did well. But I think this is going to shine better and those gourmand notes will come out more when it's a little bit cooler or at least a little less humid. So again, this is Tribeca from Bond Number no. 9. The next fragrance is from Maison Margiela Replica and this is Matcha Meditation. I love this scent, y'all. I love it. <sighs> So this is a sweet green tea scent. It's green tea mixed with white chocolate for me. There are some florals in this fragrance as well. And the florals in this kind of just make it smell a little less like food. But overall, I still think this kind of smells like food. Like it is so good. It's so soothing. It's calm. It's green. The color is green as well, and it's gorgeous. I love wearing this one to bed, but I also love wearing it during the day when it's a little bit cooler or on rainy days especially. Like, this is really nice for rainy days. Now, I know some people don't really smell the white chocolate in this, but when I smell this, that note is very prominent to me. The longer I wear this fragrance, the white florals do come out a little bit more, but to me, that white chocolate still stays and the green tea still stays. They kind of just switch positions throughout the wear. But overall, I love this from top to bottom. I love it. It is so good. It's so good. So again, that is Matcha Meditation from Maison Margiela Replica. The next fragrance is from Zerzhov and this is Naxos. And I feel like I've talked about this a lot recently, so we're not gonna spend a lot of time here, but I'm excited to wear it, so it definitely deserved to be in this video. This is a honey tobacco scent. To me, the honey is a little bit more prominent than the tobacco, but the tobacco is still there. It is so good. It has some lavender in here as well, which gives it an aromatic touch. And it also has some spices in here. I don't know what spices, but to me it smells like either cinnamon or nutmeg or both. And it's just so good. It's so good. And although the notes in this are kind of what you would think of as heavier notes, I do think this works well in warm weather as long as you don't overspray it. So this will definitely work for Florida fall or Florida autumn. Or if you live in a warm climate like myself, this could definitely work for you during your fall period as well and into winter for sure because it is pretty strong. So I think that if you're in an area where you start wearing coats and stuff, like. <laughs> I think this will be strong enough to like work through those layers. So again, this is Zerzhov Naxos. 
So those are my 10 fragrances. Really quick, we're gonna get into the two bonuses. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on them because they're not readily available, but I do wanna mention them because I am super excited to wear them. So this first one is Guerlain Gourmand Coquine, and this is a gorgeous chocolate scent. The chocolate in this is absolutely stunning. It smells so expensive, so well done. It doesn't smell bitter. This is a sweeter scent. So in addition to the chocolate, what I smell is raspberry. I'm not sure if that's the actual fruit that's in this, but to me it smells like raspberry. And whenever I smell this fragrance, I think about like chocolate covered raspberries with some liqueur in them. I don't even know if that's like a candy, <laughs> but I know they have chocolate covered cherries that have the cherry liqueur in them. To me, that sm this smells like the raspberry version of those. And oh, it's so good. This is so good. I love this fragrance. I do wear this throughout the year to bed, but I'm excited to be able to wear this when it gets a little bit cooler to wear it during the day because it's absolutely stunning. And it just smells so edible. I love it. So again, that is Gourmand Coquine from Guerlain. And then the last bonus fragrance that I have is from Atelier Colognes, and this is Santal Carmen. So this is a beautiful sandalwood scent. To me, the sandalwood in this smells quite creamy. It smells airy. It smells very smooth. And I find this one hard to describe because I don't really have anything to compare it to. It, it smells like sandalwood, but it also smells like something else deeper is in here almost like there could be like a leathery note in the background i'm not sure if that's the case it does have saffron in it which sometimes can smell leathery so that's probably what it is it's a little bit spicy as well when you smell it but overall it's absolutely gorgeous and i'm sad that when i finish this bottle i probably won't be able to get it again since they don't sell in the u.s anymore but we'll see i love it it's absolutely gorgeous and i cannot wait to start back wearing this one so those were the fragrances that I am super excited to wear this fall. Let us know in the comments below three fragrances that you're excited to start by wearing when the weather cools down. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I upload three days a week and I don't want you to miss out. So definitely turn your notification bell on as well. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me over there. I give you guys sneak peeks and new fragrances. I chit chat with you in my stories and in my DMs. So definitely check me out on Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.